I just hope you know that I turned off my air conditioner for this. That's how much I love you. Hi guys, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel, Mini Reads, where I talk about books and things. And before we get into this, I just want to address one thing. I am really, really tired. I started back up my regular job, which is teaching English as a second language, in case you don't know. And um, let's just say that it, it's been tough. It's been tough uh, going back to work. It's been tough getting into the rhythm of things. You do not even want to look at what my house looks like right now. Because before, be between classes, I would just like clean, I would cook, and now I can't do any of that. So I got really, really used to working from home, and now that I'm not working from home, it's a mess. So that's number one. Number two, I didn't post a video on Wednesday, and that was because I didn't have time to edit. I tried editing on the weekend, I had a migraine, couldn't edit during the weekend. So I just couldn't do it and that's the first time that's happened to me since I started this channel and I hope it's the last time because I really like to be consistent. I'm a, I'm a consistent person. So yeah, um, those are just some things that I wanted to get out of the way. I, I, I'm kind of stressed out. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm kind of stressed out. And the books I'm reading this month are not helping that. First of all, summer is a well-known month for me to not read. Number one. It's so hot. It's so hot. You have no idea how hot it is. Like, it's so freaking hot. And Spanish people don't use air conditioners. Why? I don't get I don't get it. I don't get it. Don't use air conditioners. So we we have one, but it's like a shitty one. So I don't like reading during the summer because it's hot. Also, um, I like audiobooks during the summer, but We'll get into that. Anyway, so my TBR for the summer is relatively small, but there are books in here, like everything here is over like 600 pages. So I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm not gonna do this, so we're clear. I'm probably not gonna get through this. But anyway, you're here for the books, so let's get into the books. The first book I wanna talk about is uh, the book number two in the memoirs of Lady Trent. I don't remember the author, it's right here, I'm reading it, I'm probably gonna finish it today. I started it last month, but again, <laughs> I'm tired and it was too hot to read. So, um, so far loving it. I just, this series I think is gonna go into like my favorite series that I've read this year. So that's the first thing I'm reading. Now, the next books I'm reading, I'm not gonna put them in any kind of order because I'm probably gonna pick two of these up. So let's start with a book that I'm reading with a couple of friends. We started a little book club and each one of us picked two books. They went into a little bowl and we got The Nightingale by Christian Hanna. Which I don't know why this seems like the least summer book ever. But if I read this, I think I will complete my five star, like my five star um, predictions challenge. So I'm really excited to get to it. Except that mine is 527 pages long. <laughs> I have a video coming up all about why I appreciate short books, but yeah. I'm reading The Nightingale by Christian Hanna, which is apparently about sisters in World War II, precisely what, what I need during the summer. Alright, the next one I have here is Rosewater. Now this one is the one that I'm like super pumped about. I really want to read this book. It's short, which I like. How much is it? 387. Thank you for being under 400 pages. Automatically already love it. Uh, it's eco sci-fi, love eco sci-fi, and I can't wait to get to it. The only thing that I don't like is that it's a trilogy, so I will have to buy the next books in the trilogy if I like this one. I'm saving the best for last. The next one, well, the best for you. <laughs> the worst for me, but the best for you. The next book I'm reading is How to Be a Good Creature by Simon Montgomery. Simon Montgomery has me convinced that I can be, what is that called? A like nature writer? Like, I, I am this close to like moving and studying G gorillas and writing a book about it like this close like don't tempt me because I will so I just wanted something cute easy to read and in case you didn't know Simon Montgomery is possibly my favorite nonfiction writer she writes nature science and uh, science fiction <laughs> my brain is dead she writes nature memoirs and she talks a lot about, about she talks a lot about animals which this is this is basically just, she she is my, my, my soulmate and she doesn't know it, so there we go. Alright, 
Then we have a book that I'm scared to read because I think it's going to be really hard to read. Not hard like the language is hard, but the like subject matter is hard. And that is Who Fears Death by Nnedi Okorafor. Now I have this book, I have talked about this book before, I haven't read it, but this is the month that I read it and I'm excited even though I'm kind of angry at Nnedi Okorafor at the moment, but we'll get to that in another video. Next I have a book that I'm basically re reading for the shits and giggles and the only reason I owned this book was because it had a major price drop on Amazon and I was like, bitch getting it. I'm reading Ninth House by Lee Bardugo and I have expectation zero for this book. I don't think I'm gonna like this book. I think this book is gonna be one of those books where I'm laughing at the stupidity of it the entire time. I'm sorry if this is your favorite book. I'm sorry if you'll really like it. But I just feel Lee Bardugo does this thing that a lot of writers do where it's like, it's adult! But really, the only reason they're calling it adult is because it's got sex, drugs, and violence in it, and that does not an adult book make. But you know what? I'm, I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna see how it goes. It, it's, it's, it, it's a long book. How, how many pa It's actually not that long. It's 450 pages. I like you better already. So anyway, uh, I have no idea what this is about except that it's kind of dark academia, and it, it's got a lot of apparently problematic. I, I hate the word problematic. Every book is problematic. Let's just get over it. I just did that and my cat jumped. And here's the grand finale. Here are the books that I'm going to be reading this summer. Not this summer, this month. And they feel like required reading and I'm, I'm honestly not excited at all to read them but I'm going to do it because I'm tired of seeing them on my shelves. I'm tired of people talking about them. I'm tired of people recommending them to me and I'm going to read all of them. I'm going to read the entire Mistborn trilogy, which basically doubles as a dumbbell at this point. Um, each one of these books is over 600 pages long. We have The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension, and The Hero of Ages. I have nothing against this, these books except I just read the back of this one. It says an epic fantasy. I don't read fantasy. I don't like fantasy. There's a whole video that I plan to film about why I rather read sci-fi than fantasy. Uh, but everybody tells me these books are great and I'm gonna trust everybody's judgment and then um, if I'm disappointed that's all your fault. So there you go. So yeah this was just a really quick video. I want to like film it, edit it, get it up because I feel really bad about not having posted a video on Wednesday. I'm sure you all understand. I'm sure nobody noticed but I noticed and I care. So there you go. We'll see how many of these I get through because honestly, I am working so much. I don't have time to do a lot of things and I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to try and that's what matters. In fact, I'm going to try to get this like edited right now. <laughs> So anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Thank you for coming if you are new. And I just want to remind you that usually I really do post every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays with some pe videos peppered out throughout the week if I'm feeling extra or if I have the time, which is probably not going to happen for a while, but you know, such is life. And uh, yeah, without further ado, I bid you adieu and I will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.